In June 2013, Quinnipiac University opened its doors to the brand new Frank H. Netter MD School of Medicine. This May, the inaugural class will be finishing their very first year of medical school. What makes this medical school particularly unique is the individual it was named after, Frank H. Netter. Coming to this medical school was made possible by the generous donation from the Netter family. This medical school is another way to remember Frank Netter and the legacy he had left. Frank Netter's wife Barbara and his first cousin Edward made the generous donation that gave this medical school its start. Barbara Netter describes her late husband as medical's Michelangelo. Frank Netter was born in 1906 in Manhattan with a gift for art. He was a commercial artist who decided to pursue a more respectable profession. Thus, he abandoned his artwork to study medicine at New York University Medical College. After graduating medical school, he trained for a short period as a general surgeon. However, he soon traded his scalpel for a paintbrush and enjoyed a prolific career as a medical illustrator. Netter was known for his anatomically precise drawings that also captured human emotion. In 1989, Netter published Atlases of the Human Anatomy, which were the first of their kind. To this very day, Netter's atlases are the center of medical education throughout the world. Since starting anatomy this year as a first year medical student, it's been really overwhelming making sure that we need to learn and memorize all the structures that we're given. Um, so having the Frank Netter atlas as a resource has been really invaluable and, we, and I use it almost every day. Medical students spend their entire first year dissecting a cadaver and learning nearly every bone, organ, blood vessel, and nerve in the human body. This single man changed the face of medicine by being the first to grant visual access to human anatomy and pathology using stunning precision and empathy. 